I'm C.J. Brown with Brown Land and Plantation Advisors, and welcome to Tom B. Plantation. This property is really something special for a lot of reasons. The restored historic improvements, the historical significance of this property, the water access is simply fantastic. The current owners use the phrase Tomby time when they're here. And I totally get it. Time seems to just melt when you're at this property. I'm excited to be here. I can't wait to show you around. Tomby Plantation consists of almost 24 manageable acres along Tomby Creek on St. Helena Island, overlooking the protected property of St. Phillips. The grounds are stunning and the main house and guest house are surrounded by draping live oaks, massive pines, palms, and ancient magnolias. The setting here is magical and the secluded waters provide excellent opportunities for redfish, flounder, crabbing, and oysters. Each season brings different species of fish to the waters, and Tomby is an incredible launching pad into the waters around the St. Helena Sound. The main antebellum house is a Georgian-style construction that was originally built in the 1790s by Thomas B. Chapel and was among the first residences built on St. Helena. The main home sits atop a tabby foundation and features a large sitting and dining room, modern kitchen with high-end appliances, three bedrooms and three bathrooms, and expansive basement. Extensive outdoor lighting was engineered to look natural and illuminate the entire property. A full state-of-the-art security and camera system has been installed to keep watch while away. The guest home is simply fabulous and has also been fully restored. It is prime for entertaining and features a large great room and kitchen, two bedrooms and three bathrooms, and expansive screened-in porches for soaking in the magic of the low country. Under a large live oak in front of the guest home and main house is a circular Sea Island fire pit that is ideal for oyster roast and crab balls. This is truly a four-season property and a very manageable historic estate. The screen verandas Outdoor gaming areas, covered porches, and al fresco dining options abound. Historically, the original plantation consisted of 376 acres and was a hub for shipping Sea Island cotton to Charleston. The residence is one of the few remaining antebellum structures still standing in the Lowcountry. Tomby was carefully guarded by former slaves since the 1860s when Tomby's lands were granted to freedmen. St. Helena Island was the epicenter of emancipation and Tomby was among the first to do so. Tomby Home was kept by the government and used as an agricultural school to educate freed men. The 750 square foot basement of the Grand Home was a local juke joint for the Gullah Geechee for many years. In later years, Tomby caught the eye of nationally recognized restorer Jim Williams in 1971, and over a period of several years was painstakingly restored to its original grandeur. Mr. Williams purchased the property from the state, and his journey of restoration of Tomby and several other historic buildings was immortalized through the book More Than the Mercer House, Savannah's Jim Williams of the Southern Homes. Mr. Williams' life in part is documented in the book and Hollywood movie, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Like Mr. Williams, the current owners are acclaimed restorers and have spared no expense modernizing and bringing back to life this special place. Tomby time, I like that. Today we showed you a small glimpse of this property. Now come make it a reality. For an exclusive look, please feel free to give us a call today.